Nielsen & Company was a locomotive manufacturer in Glasgow, Scotland. The company was started in 1836 at McAlpine Street by Walter Nielsen and James Mitchell to manufacture marine and stationary engines. In 1837 the firm moved to Hyde Park Street and was known as Kerr, Mitchell and Nielsen and, in 1840 Kerr, Nielsen and Company, becoming Nielsen and Mitchell in 1843. Locomotive building began in 1843 for the local railways. In 1855 production of marine and stationary engines discontinued and the company changed its name again to Nielsen & Company. Among those who later became notable in the field were Henry Dubbs and Patrick Sterling. By 1861, business had increased to such an extent, that a new works was built at Springburn, also named Hyde Park Works. In 1864, Henry Dubbs set up in business on his own at Queen's Park Works, as Dubbs & Company, taking a number of key staff with him. James Reed, who had previously worked for Nielsen, however, returned and became a partner. Topic stationary engines When the Edinburgh and Glasgow Railway was opened in 1842, it used a pair of Nielsen & Mitchell beam engines to work the rope incline from Glasgow to Cowlairs Station. The engines were covered by an article illustrated with drawings in the Practical Mechanic and Engineers magazine in January 1844. They were beam engines mounted on an entablature supported on fluted columns. The engines had 28-inch cylinders, and 6-foot stroke. They were supplied with steam at 50 psi by 8 boilers, each 30-foot long and 5-foot diameter. Topic. Locomotives By 1855, the company was building four coupled tank engines, along with two 4 0 and 0 4 2 tender locos. Some of these were for Cowlairs and St. Rolox, but many more went to India. Through the 1870s considerable numbers of 0-4-4 tank engines were built for the London, Chatham and Dover Railway, the Midland and the Great Eastern. Many other types were built for railways at home and abroad, including 50-0-4-2s for India. The company's first eight coupled locos were built in 1872, also for India. In 1879 the first 2-6-0s to, to run on British rails were built for William Adams of the Great Eastern. One of these was named, Mogul and this became the name applied to all locomotives of this wheel arrangement, however, the name had already been employed in the USA about ten years earlier. More overseas orders followed, with engines for South Africa and South America. Topic turn of the 20th century In 1884, Nielsen left to form a new company, the Clyde Locomotive Company. Although Reed became the sole owner of Nielsen & Co., it was not until 1898 that the company changed its name to Nielsen, Reed & Company. However, by this time, intense competition from United States meant that small companies were unable to survive. There was a need for amalgamation, and in 1903 Nielsen Reed combined with Dubbs and & Company and Sharp Stewart & Company to form the North British Locomotive Company, the largest locomotive company in the world outside the United States. Topic. Preserved Nielsen engines Topic. Australia The workshops, Ipswich 0 4 2 no 1170 of 1865 Queensland A10 Nielsen class locomotive The workshops, Ipswich 0 4 2 no 1214 of 1866 Queensland A10 Nielsen class locomotive Rail Heritage Wa 0 6 OT number 3631 of 1888 WAGRH class. Topic <inaudible> Finland. Finnish Railway Museum at Hyvinkar 0 6 O Finnish Steam Locomotive Class C1 No 1427 of 1869. Topic: New Zealand. 
Ferrymead Railway, Peveril, No. 1692 of 1872, F13. Silver Stream Railway, No. 1847 of 1874, D143. Pleasant Point Railway, No. 2306 of 1878, D16. Helensville Railway Station, No. 2563 of 1880, D170. Ocean Beach Railway, No. 2564 of 1880, D6. Kaitaia Township, No. 2565 of 1880, D221. Bush Tramway Club, No. 3751 of 1888 F216 Nielsen & Company supplied the first F13 of 1872 and last F216 of 1888 members of the 88-strong New Zealand Railways F-Class. Six builders supplied F-Class engines between the arrivals of F13 and F216. Topic: United Kingdom. O 4 O Street, Works Number no. 386 of 1869, preserved at the Museum of Science and Industry, Manchester. Gur Class 209 O 4 O Street, Number no. 229, Works Number no. 2119 of 1876, in store at the Flour Mill, Gloucestershire. 040 Street Works number no. 2203 of 1876 preserved at the Scottish Railway Preservation Society 040 Street Works number no. 2937 of 1882 preserved at Chasewater Railway Beckton Gas Works 040 WT number no. 1 Works number no. 4444 of 1892 awaiting sale at Preston Services Kent LSWR 415 Class 442 T number no. 488 Works number no. 3209 of 1885 preserved at the Bluebell Railway Beckton Gas Works 040 Street number no. 25 Works number no. 5087 of 1896 preserved at Bressingham Steam and Gardens Taff Vale Railway 02 Class 062T number no. 85 of 1899 preserved on the Keithley and Worth Valley Railway GNR IQ Class 440 no. 131 works number no. 5727 of 1901 preserved at Railway Preservation Society of Ireland Topic in fiction a character in the railway series by the Rev W Audrey is based on a Nielsen prototype Neil is a box tank locomotive who worked on the Sodor and Mainland Railway between 1856 and 1910 Topic. See also Finnish Railway Museum Category – Nielsen Locomotives